Hi, Daphne. Hi, Michael. Nice to see you. Nice um, to see you too. I think we're doing so, a video on project tracing today. Right? Yes, we do. Uh, a nice, nice tool uh, to track every changes that uh, are made in a KNX project, right? Exactly. Uh, maybe I can show it to you. You can see mm -hmm. my screen? I see. Yes, I do. Okay. Imagine you come back to a project. Um, there's quite the chance I already have a project open here. Um, and you can see there's some there's a big building structure here, there's some devices, and I have some objects here. But what we are talking about today is project tracing. And what that allows you to do is see what somebody changed, when and who exactly that person was. Um, I think that's a huge time saver. Uh, but more especially, it gives you really, it gives you control over your project. And I can show you if you like, I can show you how that works. Yes, please. Okay, so once your project is open, like I have it here, mm -hmm. you can go to the project information, and this window opens, and you see here on the right-hand side, you see the history. Um, and with that, uh, you really have everything already, because here you can scroll down, and it gives you a full log of anything that was changed in your project. And sometimes here you see a little fold here, because there's a lot that has been changed, but this gives you a log of all the project modifications. Logs everything. Cool. Yes, it does. Um, every row here um, shows at least one change. And like I said, you know, maybe if I unfold this, even maybe more changes. Um, and it shows by whom, uh, what has been done, and even with a timestamp. Okay, but well, that sounds useful if many people are working uh, on the same project. Yes, exactly. Um, when you when you click, I go back up. When you click here on history, there's even a drill down on that. So mm -hmm. I can go here and I see it with a bit more detail. And I can unfold that. And I see here now with full width, I see all the changes. And let's say somebody changed a parameter, right? A colleague maybe changed a parameter. Um, and I can look for that change. Um, so here was a download here. But let's say, say that was a busy day, 1,000 changes. And uh, you can see here um, the serial number of this device was uh, changed. Huh? Um, so I can really go in detail through the history of a project. But it um, doesn't yeah. uh, auto restore, but it, it shows what you have to fix. Exactly, exactly yeah, exactly. exactly. Because the changes build on top of each other. So ETS does cannot make the changes for you because also there it, it often a download is necessary. But indeed, it helps you reconstruct the changes by yourself. Um, yeah, so we recommend really using this um, when you take over a project from somebody else, maybe from a colleague. Uh, it's also helpful for documentation. Um, yeah, a good thing to have, I would say. And we can find it in the KNX App Store, correct? Correct, yeah. yeah. Uh, you can okay. find it in the store, and then you can add it to ETS and use it directly. Great. Yeah. Great tool. Thank you, That's Michael. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Bye.